All right, we're just stopping for a little break here uh, at this, I don't know, I think it's some kind of a shelter. Uh, little fire pit. And a uh, little privy over there. Pretty cool. What is that, a geocache or something? It could, oh, it could be, yeah. In there? Y'all see that? It's a snowmobile club. Oh. So I guess if you're uh, snowmobiling down in this area here. Gotcha, yeah, there's a map here. That'd be awesome. Yeah, no shit. Snowmobile and camp and. That'd be, yeah, that'd, yeah, be, that'd be awesome. Time. Another beautiful view, guys. Still a little hazy. Things seem to be. Uh, Thing to seem to be uh, clearing up a bit. So uh, tomorrow we're supposed to have good weather. So uh, still probably about a mile or so from camp, but I feel great. All day, it's been happening. Ugh. All right guys, so uh, we made it to camp. Spruce Creek campsite. Uh, hammock camping is a little challenging. Uh, I'll show you around. That's me here. Um, you can see there's a big rock underneath there, so. Not bad though. The creek is right on the other side of that embankment. In that area down there there's another campsite but it's not you ain't gonna get a hammock in there and then uh, this is where Sean is the, or I'm sorry the Taj Mahal is <clears throat> and you see he has to have I mean crazy amount of room so uh, yeah that was it. We had a good day. Uh, it was a soggy day, as you've seen. But we're not going to let the sogginess of the Superior Hiking Trail dampen our spirits. Uh, it was actually a fun time. And tomorrow, we're supposed to have some good weather. So, uh, let me walk over here. and There's our water source. And uh, we'll just walk right down on the other side of this log. All right, guys, we're uh, just sitting here under the Taj Mahal. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to dry out a little bit. Everything we got is just freaking soaked. So uh, I got me a little spruce. In the South, we call it a pallet. Like, not a pallet that you carry, you know, goods in with a forklift, but like a pallet, like, on the floor, what what do you call it? Oh, I don't even know if we have a word for it. <laughs> have you ever heard of the term pallet before? Only in terms of, you know, stuff you use to ship things. Yeah, okay, so guys, if you don't know what a pallet is, <laughs> this is a pallet. It's like you lay a pallet on the floor, you know, to stretch out on or, or whatever. So I'm on the Barca lounger and then, uh, spruce pallet 
uh, backpack. We got these little, oh my God, don't even get me started <laughs> on those things because this has been a pain in my, <clears throat> yeah, all freaking day. So anyway, we're getting ready to cook up some dinner and uh, I'm having, I think we're gonna do the All-American Burger Wrap. So I wanna put a disclaimer too, on that spruce pallet, I did not cut those spruce. They were already cut here at camp. Just wanna throw that out there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna cook up some grubs. So don't know if I'll be talking to you guys later. Uh, if not, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So we slept really good last night. It did start raining <clears throat> probably about eight o'clock. So we decided to hit the rack early. Both of us slept through the night. Didn't wake up too many times. So uh, we're just moseying around camp right now. About ready to pack up and hit the trail. All right, I forgot to mention that I'm carrying a new pack this time. Uh, this little deal right here. Trader, no. I still like my Z-Packs, but uh, this is not a bad looking pack. This is the uh, Gossamer Gear Kumo 36. Um, it's actually a pretty nice riding pack so far. So uh, expect a full review later. somewhere around 10 ish 10 miles 10 ish miles all right yeah uh, almost 10 I guess and uh, we're at Cascade River North campsite um, I think we got five ish miles tomorrow five miles tomorrow 5.6 miles tomorrow uh, to get back to the car we kind of halfway considered uh, hiking a little bit further today to get closer to the vehicle but we weren't sure about camp campsites and I think we were gonna ha have to go like maybe a half a mile out of the way uh, to get to it so anyway we just decided to call it, it was a pretty rough day actually uh, if anybody tells you the Superior Hiking Trail doesn't have hills then you tell them to come up uh, 
to this north section because it was pretty pretty hilly but anyway um it, the today was by far the best trail day since i've been uh since we've been hiking uh there was still a little bit of mud the last couple of miles but um i mean you got a variety of everything roots rocks hills downs flats views i mean everything that any trail could offer you got it right here so uh anyway guys we will talk to you later maybe uh at dinner all right peace so what's for supper what's what you have the beat up the burritos trail sides bean and cheese yep are these our cheese oh they are cheese <clears throat> I'm having the, let's see if I can get you to focus in, Dottie's Chicken and Dumplings. Ah, uh, good night for the Dottie. Look at this. This is mucho good -o. It's not going to focus in. Focus. There you go. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> yum. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right, what's up, guys? It's uh, early this morning. It's probably about uh, 7 o'clock now. We've been up since around 6. Got some coffee going. We're skipping breakfast. We're packed up. We're heading out. I forgot to tell you, we're, uh, I think I did, but if I didn't tell you, we're staying, or we stayed last night at Cascade River Campground North, right? Yeah. So uh, we're pushing out. I think we got somewhere around five miles to do. It got really cold last night. We think it was probably around uh, low 40s. Um, I didn't know if I mentioned this earlier too, but I'm trying out a, well, I bought a new top quilt, a 50 degree hammock gear, and it's rated to fit, you know, obviously 50, but it wasn't working last night. It was like an unemployment check. Uh, so I was a little cold, and uh, we were both wishing we had our 20-degree top quilts last night. Anyway, we're not whining. I'm just telling you. All right, we just finished, uh, guys. Sean, what you, you got anything to say to end this trip? I got to say it was brutal, but now my favorite part of the trail. The Sawtooth Mountains were just amazing. I would There are sections I wouldn't do again, but there's parts I definitely want to come back to. It was a good times. Right on. Uh, I agree, and uh, not much I can say uh, other than roughly the same thing. Oh, I miss Sadie being with us. So, Oberg Mountain to 158 or Valley Creek Road. Do it.